Thank you so much. You too. So sometimes that like so okay so I ordered a medium, but then like it's so weird. So what happened was, um, you didn't hear me order, which sucks because I couldn't like go back and you know. But what happened was, hold on, we need coffee in our system, like now. Um, is this almond milk? I feel like this is not almond milk. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So basically, what happened was. Um, I ordered a caramel and they didn't have caramel which I didn't see the sign until like after so I felt bad but then I think I accidentally ordered a large and I only wanted a medium so now I have this big ass iced coffee that's probably going to kill me not really but yeah um, but I got it with almond milk because and I wanted it I wanted it hot but it's fine um, iced coffee all times of the year um but um yeah so now i have a large and because like when i got to the front she's like 584 and i'm like wait a minute why am i paying 584 when i got a large iced coffee typically i only ever pay between like four four dollars like i think i think madison and caroline give me discounts when i come through there so I only ever pay like four or five bucks and it was 586. I was like, wait a minute, that's like a large price. It's bad when you know the prices of your drinks. Um, but I think, did I, I either saw this, I dreamt it or whatever. It's only like 30 cents more to get a large, like get a large because it's only 30 cents more. And I'm just like, but yeah, I got almond milk. Oh, I forgot to get my sugar in it. I always forget to do that. Actually, that's because I usually get iced coffee. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I just got time done taking my aunt to the doctor. Um, so that's all. She got a surgery coming up on Tuesday. So prayers to her. Um, and now I just got some breakfast because I'm freaking starving. Um, it is nine o'clock in the morning, ten o'clock in the morning. Um, I have to pee really bad. I haven't. I've had. Blah, 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 I can't speak. I've had to pee since like I left, which is stupid. I know, but. Um, plus I drink a bunch of water on my way up there, so, yeah, yeah. But You've heard of hibachi, but now it's ibachi. What is going on, everybody? It is Lucas here, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of vlogging. So, today, um, I want to do something a little bit different to, like, kind of end the vlog or do the last clip of the vlog. So, I mentioned this a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, rather. I, th I said I was going to review a different horror movie every day in October, from now until Halloween, which is all of October. I don't know why I said that, but anyway... Today, I'm going to be talking about Girl on the Third Floor, which the one reason that I wanted to watch this was because it had one of my favorite wrestlers, CM Punk, in it, and I've watched this movie three times now. Not purposefully, just because I like it that much, and Girl on the Third Floor, it's just funny, it's a coincidence. But this movie actually takes place in Chicago, a little suburb outside of Chicago. Um, I don't think that it ever they ever mention where it takes place in Chicago. If they do, I... And misremembering it so there will be spoilers in this just to let you guys know that but yeah anyway um so cm punk is formally in some kind of a, a law business but he ends up like taking money from people it was really weird um so he's trying to make a new new life for himself and his wife uh liz uh so they buy this house in the suburbs of chicago and among buying this house fixing start fixing it up all these weird things start happening and they're primarily helping happening around don so uh one thing that um happens in the movie is when don starts taking a shower after a run some liquid starts oozing from the shower head um this also oozes out of different places in the house while don is trying to fix up the um the house turns out that it is you know, mail stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, upon fixing the house, though, uh, Don runs into Sarah, who says she has a slight history with the house. Um, spoiler, Sarah is not really alive. She's a ghost. It's crazy. Um, it took me forever to realize that when I watched the movie three times. Sarah just ends up making life living hell for Don, and it's just, it's really crazy. It's a really crazy movie. 
I'm trying not to give away too much of it, but I have to in order to tell you about it. It's, it's a weird concept that I'm dealing with right now. Um, all these things keep happening to the house where um, Don will fix it, and then he wakes up the next morning and it's back to the way it was. Um, you know, broken and just oozing weird stuff. So Don's friend Milo comes out comes out to help fix the house up with him. And they end up getting into an argument about Sarah because Sarah and Don have gotten in a fight already. So he pretty much tells Sarah not to come back. She comes back and another fight between Don and Sarah. And then that causes a fight between Don and Milo. After that, Milo goes missing. And it's never really explained what happened, I don't believe. I I, I should have rewatched this movie. I've been watching this movie, so I'm sorry this review is so terrible. Milo goes missing, and but he's still getting... he's His phone is still sending texts. It's Sarah, by the way, the ghost. Getting texts to Liz and all this stuff. Um, rewind a little bit, and Don actually ends up cheating on his wife, Liz, with Sarah. Which I still don't know how that works, because... She was a ghost, and I don't... I feel like you would know if you were doing a ghost. I think. I don't know, though. Um, I've never had that happen to me. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So, it's just a really crazy movie. Sarah and Don get into another fight where he realizes that she's dead because he finds Milo's body buried in the basement, concreted into the wall along with several other bodies, uh, to which Sarah then kills Don. But... Instead of sending text to, instead of sending text to Liz like he was doing with, like she was doing with Milo's phone, she does it, which causes Liz to come surprise Don at the um, the house, to which she finds Sarah. Now this is where it gets weird. Liz starts hearing weird shit happening upstairs, and she walks in, and up to the stairs and notices that there is a balcony with like seating and there's people and she looks down and it is Sarah who is a prostitute back in the early I think it was the 30s I don't remember and then she runs out of the house there's a church across the street which the the, the pastor um I believe her name's Ellie in the movie yeah I'm looking at it right now Ellie um or Sadie Ellie or Sadie I don't remember oh my gosh the the pastor at the church and she kind of tells her the history of the house and how the house doesn't like men, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's also a bartender in the movie. CM Punk is an alcoholic, a recovering alcoholic in the movie as well. Um, and that's mentioned and that's mentioned. And um, he just he, he starts drinking again because of all everything going on. So she goes back into the house. Uh, Liz goes back into the house to find Don in the closet cuts and scrapes and stuff all over him and um it's just it's really weird and she's like what the hell oh my god you know and she he's like i tried to get them all out because a main focus of this movie is marbles which were played with by a little girl who i believe i want to say was sarah's little girl in the in, in the movie i don't remember for sure i need i should have rewatched this again i apologize for such a shitty review i'll do it better tomorrow um but you know she's like i try to get all these marbles out which then leads him to take a box cutter and go down his front and it's sarah it's all fucked up it's so messed up it's so messed up i, I forget what happens after that but um they fast forward also by the way liz is pregnant in this movie so yeah fast forward and it's like six months later i believe you know they we see the baby and then they do like a little shoot up of the sky and there's a vent over the baby's crib and all you see is a marble fall down and then it's cm punk's eye and then he just goes that's my girl and it's the weirdest way to end it but i also feel like it's also a way for them to potentially make a sequel um overall even with my shitty review i think you guys should go watch it to kind of get it for yourself um it's very psychological, it's very crazy, and I loved it. I'd like you guys to watch it. Tell me what you thought about it. Um, and I'm sorry that's such a shitty review, but I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a 13 out of 13 on this one. Um such a good movie. Um again, and I I thought, you know, and I just really wanted to watch it because of CM Funk. 
I ended up liking the movie. Obviously, I've watched it three times, and I'm probably gonna watch it again eventually. Um, and yeah, that's my thoughts on Girl on the Third Floor. Um, it stars CM Punk, Sarah Brooks, Tristine Kelly Dunn, and um, a bunch of other cool people. So go check it out. It's on Netflix. It is on a couple other things, I believe. I know it's on. I know it's on Netflix because that's where I've watched it. But super good movie. Um, unless you don't like seeing sp dude spunk come out of a drain in a wall and just there's a whole bunch of stuff that I know I missed. Um, so you guys are gonna have to watch it for yourself. But that is my review of Girl on the Third Floor. Um, directed by Travis Stevens, um, who actually wrote the movie as well. And it actually um, takes place, like where they filmed it, is a reported haunted house in Evanston, is a reported, is a reported haunted house in Evanston, Illinois. So maybe one day I'll go check that out. But anyway, that's my review. That's the vlog for today. It's super long. And I'm probably gonna have a lot of long vlogs this month, which I'm looking forward to. Um, if you guys have a horror movie that you guys want me to review, I'm going to re be reviewing um, for sure Three from Hell, probably Invisible Man. Um, my friend Tony sent me a bunch of movies, so I'm going to probably review those. Um, I might, uh, what I'm going to do is review um, all the Friday the 13th, um, but I'm going to do that as a series, as a whole, I think, unless I can't figure out enough horror movies to watch. But yeah, that's my review. Um, but like I said, let me know if you guys want me to review a horror movie. I would prefer if it was available on Prime, Hulu, um, or Netflix, um, just because I have those services and I don't really want to go buy more movies. So let me know. And yeah, song of the day today is Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake because of this picture. I'm sorry, Matt. I love you, bro. I will see you guys tomorrow as always. Be excellent to one another.